Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is cover how to use Demol Shooter to get two-player light guns working on the Dolphin emulator. Now, a lot of you have already been able to play two-player light gun games on Dolphin using uh, the Dolphin Bar and two Wiimotes, but this is going to let you set up other guns such as the uh, Aim Track, the gun for IR, or even the Sindon light gun to get two players on any game that's currently supported by Dolphin. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have Dolphin 5.0 and Demol Shooter. If you want to see any uh, descriptions on how to set up Demol Shooter just in general, I'll leave a couple links to some previous videos I've made on this in the description below. But I'll also leave a link to uh, Dolphin 5.0. Now once you install Dolphin 5.0, uh, what you need to do is just go ahead and double click your Demol Shooter GUI. And in the drop down selection, go to Dolphin and click this button. Now it's going to tell you that it's wrote a new Wiimote uh, any file in the default location, which you know is your documents, uh, Dolphin emulator config Wiimote new. So we're going to go ahead and show you that folder here. This is that folder, and you can see it backed up the original Wiimote uh, ini file, and it made a new one right here. And this is the one that Demol Shooter is configured to uh, utilize the guns that you've set up in the Demol Shooter GUI. Now when you click OK on this, you may get this error message with no aim track detected for player 2. This is fine. Uh, Demol Shooter was written with aim tracks in mind, and it will automatically try to configure player 1 and player 2 with aim track guns. But if you don't have an aim track gun plugged in, if you've got a gun for IR or send in or some other analog control that you've got configured, you're going to get this pop up. Just hit OK on that. Next up, go back into Dolphin 5.0 click on controllers and click on Wiimote number two configure. Now on the device drop-down menu don't change anything but click on it and then count the number of devices you have on your computer until you get down to the one that's your player two device. So you can see here I've got my keyboard mouse, my generic USB joystick, my gun for IR player one and my gun for IR player two. Now I don't want to change this I just want to count how many down my player two gun is. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. Again, very important. You don't change anything. You just count it. Now four is the magic number that you can use for Demol Shooter, but it's just on my computer. Every computer is going to be a little different depending on how many devices you've got plugged in, but the actual command then would be Demol Shooter dash target dolphin five dash dd I number equal four. And again, that was because my player two device was four down. Demol Shooter uh, doesn't really need to do much fancy magic for player one because player one is simple mouse emulation, but getting that second player gun, that's important. And you just need to be able to tell Demol Shooter which device is your player two. Now, if you're using aim track guns, you're done. There's no more configuration you need to do to get Demol Shooter working as long as you've gotten this DDI number identifier for your second player gun. But if you got that pop-up message that I showed uh, you earlier about an aim track gun number two not found because you're using a send in or a gun for IR or something like that, then I'm going to go ahead and show you the one extra step of configuration you need to do to get that second gun working. Back in Dolphin, go ahead and click on controller again. And for Wemo number two, click configure. Back at this drop down, Go ahead and take a look at what your gun number two device is called. And you can see right here, this is a D input slash zero slash gun for IR slash pro slash micro slash P2. So go ahead and make a note of that and then close uh, your Dolphin program. And then you want to go ahead and navigate to config and go ahead and edit your Wiimote new dot INI. Now, if you jump down, to the IR up, down, left, right here on lines 36, 37, 38, and 39, you can see it just put in the default value of DI input zero A track device. Again, this is what the aim track would have been, but we want to go ahead and replace that with the, uh, for in my case, the gun for IR. So you can see here, mine has been edited with the gun for IR Pro Micro. And all you're doing is replacing the 
a track device number two with gun fryer pro micro p2 the beginning and ends of those lines haven't changed so if i go back to the default you can see it's di input slash zero a track device number two colon axis y minus axis y plus axis x minus axis x plus so these four lines you just want to change this middle section here that's referring to the a track device and you go ahead and change it to whatever your uh, your actual player two gun is so gun for ir pro micro p2 and i just put that in on all four lines again these are lines numbers 36 37 38 39 you go ahead and save that and then uh, your gun uh, your gun for ir your send in or whatever you have is all set up to be your player two gun and the only other thing you want to note is when it comes down to your actual button maps is that your player one, your uh, simple your main three triggers on your gun uh, are just your regular left click, middle click, and right click on the mouse. And you can map those here just like you would anything else. But for player two, those same three trigger and two buttons are actually going to be S, D, and F. S is a left click, D is your middle click, and F is your right click. So when you're mapping your, uh, your controls here in the Dolphin, you can go ahead and set whatever buttons you'd like. Just note that you, for your player two, your, your normal trigger is going to be S, and then your two side buttons are going to be D and F. So if you want to do any extra mapping after that, you can do it inside the AHK, the same one that you're using to go ahead and launch the game. So you can see here, here's my final AHK. For this particular game, the first line runs to mall shooter, target dolphin, target uh, dash DDI number four. Then the second line is just running my dolphin X, uh, emulator and pointing to the ROM for this particular game. In this one, I'm mapping, I'm changing my number one button to be number four, but you can change, you know, whatever uh, buttons you maps you want here. And then I've got a simple exit command that goes ahead and uh, kills out the emulator. And I think that about covers it. All of this is covered in the Demol Shooter wiki page, and I'm going to link that in the video description. But I know it can really help to see somebody walk through the setup. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while now. As always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I'll catch you all in the next video.